Thank you for joining us all today as we celebrate Fujifilm Cellular Dynamics new building right here at 465 Science Drive. This facility marks a new phase for FCDI. We are already the world leader in manufacturing and development of IPSCs. With our new facility, we'll apply that knowledge to advancing cell therapies. They erecting this new facility brings great hope for the future of medicine and for patients. This new 32,000 square foot facility will be home to three clean rooms, three GMP suites. In addition, we'll have research and development labs and office space. Everything we need in one spot to develop stem cell therapies. This new cell manufacturing facility uh, complies with C GMP and is key facility for our regenerative medicine business. We will lead the industrialization of regenerative medicine using IPS cells and we will open the door to the new era in regenerative medicine. So the central feature of the facility is the manufacturing core three suite which will allow multi product manufacturing. So new facility has all necessary functions to conduct investigational development to manufacture cells for certain stage of clinical trials. It has a development lab and three GMP suite and next to that QC labs. Um, thank you, Fujifilm, for your commitment to Madison and Wisconsin. Um, to this production facility that's going to accelerate R&D, development of therapeutics for diseases such as macular degeneration, Parkinson's disease, and other diseases. Um, you're investing not only in this community, you're investing in our lives. So thank you. We value the strong connections we have built with the city, Wisconsin State, UW, URP, and many other partners. It is really exciting to me to see an international company investing in Madison and connecting our great city with the global economy and the global community. This expansion here in Madison, I believe, demonstrates that we have the workforce and the quality of life to support corporate expansions of businesses on the cutting edge of technology. Even though we are separated by a lot of distance, uh, the connections made by Fujifilm for our University of Wisconsin, the city of Madison, the state, are critical to not only innovation, but workforce development and global, continued global economic opportunities. Not only that, but the work done here to address unmet medical needs through stem cell ther th therapies will change the lives of so many folks, not just here in Wisconsin, but around the world. I have reasons to be very um, optimistic, to have hope that uh, we, the whole the biomedical community, as I said, you know, will be able to make a meaningful change soon. Mr. Yamamoto and the entire Fujifilm Cellular Dynamics team, congratulations on the opening of your new facility. The work done here in the area of stem cell therapy is moving the medical world forward and creating hope for those living with devastating diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, and cancer. Your employees are an important part of the fabric of the Madison community and the biomedical community of Wisconsin. And people often ask me, you know, what's going to happen in the next 10 and 15 years. And I think, again, going back to the early days of recombinant DNA, if in 1975 at the Silmer Conference you asked those people what's going to happen, they would have been able to predict something interesting in their own little field, but nobody would have predicted all the things that came out of recombinant DNA because of the tools over time. And I think it's the same thing here. I can predict some little things in my own little neuroscape, but simply because more people are going to have access to the basic building blocks of the human body, they're going to be used in creative ways I cannot even imagine. So I, I don't know specifically what's going to come out of this building that's important, but to um, try to parrot by something from Harry Potter, I think we must expect great things from you. Thank you.